In October of 2012, Larry Butch Cummings of Greensboro Fire Department died of multiple myeloma. Uh, multiple myeloma is a cancer that affects firefighters at a rate of 1.5 times that of the general public. Butch died at the age of 59, a relatively young age for a person in modern society to pass away. Heart attacks are the number one killer of firefighters, however cancers are slowly creeping up to a close second. Chemicals and carcinogens within today's modern structure fires lead to this increase in cancer rates within firefighters. Today's modern, ho modern homes utilize more plastics and synthetic fibers than those of the past. In the past, materials such as co cotton as well as wood were more often used rather than today's plastics. This increase in plastics increases the uh, chemical that are released into the atmosphere. Rather than just worrying about carbon monoxide, firefighters now worry about hydrogen sulfide among many other toxic chemicals. These toxic chemicals being released increase the chances of firefighters cancer. A few of the cancer rates that are more prevalent is testicular cancer, which is two times that of the general public's risk, mesothelioma, which is increased by twofold in the firefighters population, Lymphoma firefighters have 1.5 times the risk than the general population. And skin cancer is 1.4 times as likely to affect a firefighter than somebody in the general population. Absorption helps increase the, uh, within the skin helps increase the chances of getting these chemicals into your system. Firefighters utilize hoods on their necks that protect them from heat, but this also increases their exposure to these chemicals. The hoods will absorb the chemicals which then leach into the, into the firefighters' bodies. The most absorbent parts of your body are the neck, armpit, and groin areas, and for every 5 degree increase in skin temperature, your body absorbs any material at a rate of 400 times that of a normal body temperature. Most uh, new studies recommend firefighters take off their hoods as soon as risk is taken away to help prevent this increase of cancer risk. North Carolina currently does not cover firefighter cancer as a disability. In order to claim a disability in North Carolina, one has to prove a specific fire or a specific event that led to that, and cancer just does not work that way. Many states do not actually count firefighter cancer as a disability even though studies have shown the increased rates within firefighting communities. Until we have a culture change we cannot stop this cancer from spreading. Do what you can uh, uh, protect yourself by wearing respiratory protection. Take off your hood as soon as you can because the state won't do anything for you. Until we take precautions amongst ourselves and change our culture, we cannot curb these deaths caused by cancer.